It is not uncommon to see food sensitivities when it comes to acne. And today I'm going to share my three-step formula to heal food sensitivities and why it is not just the be all and all. We're going to dig deeper. My name is Gidden. I'm a functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner. And oh man, my list of food sensitivities kept on increasing throughout my life. It would be one thing at first, then an uncommon food that I had never eaten in my life, and so on. But this all boiled down to one thing. And what I didn't know at the time was that food sensitivities, they are a symptom, not a root cause. A symptom of a deeper conversation in terms of what is happening inside of your gut. Because there is not one single symptom you are experiencing that does not connect back to a deeper conversation of what is happening in the terrain of your gut. Whether this is a skin issue, whether this is a mood, your cycle, your digestion, your fatigue, it all can connect back to your gut. Here we are again, looking at leaky gut as we embark on a day seven of our seven days of clear skin challenge. And what leaky gut is, it's when your intestinal lining becomes damaged, it creates these gaps right here in your tight junctions. So say this was opened on the image, this would allow particles to come in to your bloodstream and this would also mean that the tight junctions aren't controlling what can come into your bloodstream. So this can allow for toxins, undigested food particles, bacteria to leak into your bloodstream where they don't belong, hence the term leaky gut. Now here's what leaky gut does. It leads to poor gut absorption, which leads to inflammation in your body, which leads to acne. If you healed the train of your gut, you would be able to eat certain foods in moderation, of course. It's quite obvious when it comes to food sensitivities, well, if you're sensitive to something, remove it. That's where most people stop. And I'm going to share with you the three-step formula to heal your gut to strengthen the gut lining and not just stop at one because we're looking at this holistically. So number one, you might already be doing this and that is removing the food sensi- the foods that you are sensitive to. This is going to decrease inflammation in your body. This is going to help your skin out, right? You're not just adding more fire to the fuel. But part two is rebuilding your gut. While you're removing your sensitivities, are you actively rebuilding your gut lining? Removing things is one thing, but healing the gut is another. This looks like supplementation. Maybe you need L-glutamine, which feeds the enterocytes, which line your gut lining. Maybe this looks like nutrition. You're like, okay, I'm removing these things, but am I bringing in the good stuff, the prebiotics, the probiotics, whatever your gut needs? And is this building your stress resiliency, which is number three? Because when you're removing foods from your diet, that's stressful. So do you have the tools to manage stress in your day-to-day life? In this seven-day series, I did a whole video about stress. So you can go take a look at that after this one to help you. The truth is, is stress shuts down your digestion. It literally, it literally shuts it down. And this inhibits your body's ability to heal. Slowing down, chewing your food. These are all important tools for stress resiliency. This is also what I dive into in my digestion optimization bundle in further detail. I'd love to know what is one thing that you can do to help rebuild your gut lining in the comments. If you have any questions, leave them below so I can answer them and like this video so it can reach more women. I am sending you love wherever you are. Take care. Baby, you're bubbly and radiant. You got some flavor, and I'm trying to savor it. Palm gripped on the fruit.